Hey everybody, welcome to Cold School, and uh, I think I did a video, a little tour video a second ago, and the sun was coming in the back of the building, so this, I don't know if this will be better or worse, we'll see. But anyway, I uh, wanted to show you a video, uh, just a quick video, I'll try to keep them all pretty short, of uh, choosing the right fan for a homemade air conditioner or an ice chest air conditioner, and it's important to know too that an ice chest air conditioner is different than a swamp cooler. A swamp cooler is, uh, it exposes the water on a fabric or a filter and the water evaporates like it does on your shirt or your skin and then when the wind blows across it it gets cold. So that's how a swamp cooler or a uh, evaporative cooler works. So uh, the uh, an air conditioner uses uh, R22 or Freon or a coolant of some sort that's compressed and circulated through a radiator and then a fan blows or pulls across the radiator, which is probably 30, low 30s to 40 degree, really cold to the touch, and uh, pulls the, pushes or pulls the cold air, I mean the air, well the cold air once off the air through the radiator, and so an ice, ch and then blows it on your body or into the room. So a uh, ice chest air conditioner or homemade air conditioner using ice water or some a cold coolant ice water is the coolant like R22 or Freon or something on your car or your home window unit or a central air unit uh, that's how they work so they're different so um, your car or your wall unit or your central air is a perfectly closed unit I mean there's no such thing as a perfect vacuum but it's perfectly for the sake of using that term it's a perfectly closed compressed unit cycle so it's a closed cycle unit so an ice chest air conditioner is somewhat of a closed cycle unit where uh, it's not under pressure but the water is in a con the ice water ice and the water is in a container and then it's circulated through a tube through a, a radiator and then the fan pushes or pulls the air across and then it returns the water through a drain tube or a return outlet tube back into the ice water so that's the difference and some people don't quite know the difference between just a general air conditioner versus a swamp cooler a swamp cooler will work where it's dry dry and arid but a uh, ice chest air conditioner or regular air conditioner will work uh, in a humid climate or a dry climate so that's one of the advantages of a homemade ice chest air conditioner is you can use it in the arid in the desert or in a tropical jungle jungle or the Philippines or Vietnam or the desert in Utah or Saudi Arabia or uh, Afghanistan so uh, they work in humid and arid climate so anyway I just wanted to share that real quick so anyway this video is about uh, choosing a fan the right fan so if you notice in most of the videos that I've done on the medium blue size air conditioner and these portable air conditioners uh, ice chest homemade ice chest air conditioners is that I use uh, a fans like this these are inline fans the brand doesn't matter uh, but it's inline, meaning it's inside of a, a, a tube. It almost looks like a piece of PVC with a fan in the middle of it and down the center. So it looks, it's an inline fan. And uh, as you can see, as I'm building them and shipping them out, um, and of course, things need to be painted and colored and everything. But anyway, so uh, that's what I use. And there's a three inch, what I, this video is pretty much just about uh, these two fans. They're both inline fans. This is a three inch fan. This is a four inch fan. So the difference between these two, you can use either one and they work great. And uh, I thought I had one built with this one. I think I've got an air box like this uh, for the four inch. But anyway, the difference is if, uh, and I use these in an eight by 12 uh, by six uh, room on my, uh, van life millionaire uh van that i tour around the country with and uh work and uh so that's the website and the youtube channel for that uh the van itself is uh we just call it snow van and uh anyway so this the difference between the two on the output when the air comes out of the three inch fan the air comes out straight 
and it stays straight and it'll go about four it, I mean a minimum of four feet even pulling through the radiator so that's the difference so if you're in a small 8 by 12 room small bedroom or a tiny home room or a cabin or a van life anything like that and you want the air to be on directly on you the strongest you would use a three inch fan because the air is going to come straight out and then you can sit yeah, I used to sit four feet away and I had to get under a sleeping bag. It was so cold. But if you want to cool the room faster, I, and it'd be hard to say I haven't done a clinical trial test between the two and the ambient temperature to the uh, operating temperature of the room. But I will tell you, it seemed like, okay, so I was going to say it seemed like this one cools the room faster, but this one will cool you on your body faster. So this one, when the four inch, when the air comes out, it comes out, but it, it, it expands. So it does blow down the center, just like this one, but it also, uh, so let's go to the side. So this one here on the three inch will come straight out and it just keeps going. And those are uh, not beer cans, those are LaCroix. I drink a lot of uh, coconut uh, seltzer water. So on the four inch fan, when the air comes out, up side to side and down, it comes out like that. So this one goes straight out, and the four inch kind of goes up like that. So it swirls out and then it expands, almost the shape. If you saw a tornado from the bottom to the top, if it were like this, it would go out on both sides. So it seems to cool a room faster with this one. And I will say too, if you have them wide open on 12 volts turned full blast, this one howls a little bit more till you turn it back to 9, 10, 11. As soon as you pull it off a of full blast, off of 12 volts to 9, 10, or 11 volts, just kick it back a little. This one's quiet, but this one's a lot quieter than that one. And I've got some old videos where I compared the two. But uh, as far as cooling a room and choosing a fan, the 3 inch blows out straight, and this one blows out and expands as it comes out. So to cool a small room, personally, I would use this one to put it just on you, like set it in the corner of the room and you hunker down under a sleeping bag or something. And believe me, even in the middle of summer, that uh, this little unit here, it's not the size of this, it's the design of the air box with the, the heater core, or what's a heater core? radiator the air box the distance between the fan the type of fan how many volts you're running it through and the distance between the fan and the and the uh uh radiator those are your key components this is just a container it's just basically a gas tank so this holds your ice water you could get a glass this size fill it with ice water take the pump out of here out of the air box drop it into the ice water and then run it over here and it'll perform the exact identical same way until that ice is melted so the ice water warms up to ambient temperature of the room if it's warmer than the ice water and so you can use one this big or you can use one this big or you can use a, a high performance one so that's important but i want to just just make a quick video about these two here uh, these are the two that I use personally. I've used these since, uh, so I've used these since, uh, well, let me say I've used them for 11 years. So this is the one I use the most and, uh, I've used them both, but I use this cause it blows straight and it's, I guess it's easier to, I don't know, it's smaller, easier to manage, but you can mount this four inch one into this as well. But, uh, so the way I control the speed on the fan once it's mounted in here is uh, I use a 12 volt potentiometer control and this this particular one inside now the box I make the box uh, the com I put all the components together for this but anyway then you have a, a dial here and you can turn it up so if it's off and then there's one two three volts go all the way up to 12 volts wide open and as I said these three inch ones tend to howl when they're wide open so all you have to do is dial it back just a little bit and then it quits howling so loud but anyway the most important thing is is the, the this stuff here not the cooler that's just a fuel tank if you have a big four by four truck and you have a fuel tank this big you'll go farther than you will with a fuel tank that big that's the only difference so that's the difference between the two inline three inch and four inch is the, is not how fast it comes out but the shape of the uh 
coverage of the airflow that comes out. This one comes straight out and this one expands. So anyway, those are the two that I use. And so I hope y'all enjoyed this. Thank you.